Hello, Rams fans. Assistant coach John Anderson back here at the skip. Kevin Brooks. How are you doing today, Kevin? Well. Well. Awesome. We're going to start today by uh, just expounding on our Texas terms from last week, okay? Okay. If it's not yesterday and not today, what is it? Tomorrow. You heard it. There's a W in tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> this weekend, tomorrow, we start playing against Southern Arkansas. Uh, really quality team. Consistently, they're you know rated high and they they have quality players. What do they? What do they? What what uh, problems do they bring to the field for the Rams? They're good. <laughs> Boy, it's getting close to game time. Not not much on, on the thought for the interview, huh? <laughs> well, I mean, they're good, I, you know, I, I, which is good. I mean, you want competition. Um, you want to play against the best, and uh, they're definitely uh, one of the better teams in, in around and in Division Two. I mean, uh, they always bring strong pitching, hitting, defense. I mean, they, they do every phase of the game very well, and uh, we'll definitely have to see if we can't match their level. Okay, and then I know being in San Angelo, a lot of people are going to ask about Christian Summers. You know, he popped his ankle a couple weeks ago, and he's kind of, kind of, he's he's coming back. Is he going to play this weekend? Uh, we're talking about three. I yeah. guess we'll find out about two forty-five. <laughs> uh, I think he's going to be able to play. Uh, every, right now, everything looks good. Uh, he's moving around, you know, almost one hundred percent, and uh, so uh, I would think uh, he'd be in the lineup, and I think that'll be. Uh, uh, helped us. Is there any adjustments from last weekend to this weekend that you could elaborate on or, or not? Well, I mean, uh, you know, uh, Brett David may be back as well. Uh, Bryant Rutledge, who was out last weekend, uh, that, you know, had the little surgery and just had to sit out, you know, a week. Uh, he'll be back. And so uh, definitely a lot, feel like we're, we're more uh, fully loaded than we were going into last weekend. Um, whether or not we play like that or not, I mean, that remains to be seen. But uh, we got some more pieces of the puzzle that I think could be available to us. Okay, you got quality starting pitching pretty much from everybody last weekend. Uh, who who this weekend is going to go game one? Who's got Friday? Oh, uh, you know, Mike could go uh, game one again, Weatherly, and uh, and we'll sort of see what happens from there and head into the weekend. Now, Mike was a closer last year. He's uh, pretty much reserved to going 40 or under pitches. This year, being a starter, he gets up in the 80 to 100 uh, right away. What do you see as the difference in his style on the mound as, as a starter? You know, I, I, I don't I don't really see much different in his style. The one thing is, is, is the closer, you know, he had two really plus pitches, and he's got more than that in his repertoire. So I think he has time to use all four of his pitches uh, in a starting role, whereas maybe as a closer he would just be a fastball slider guy. Uh, now he's making it, mixing in the breaking ball and change more. Uh, and, you know, I, th- I think he'll do a great job. And uh, you, you kind of uh, said earlier that Brant Lutch, Rutledge will be back this weekend. What – does it uh, what what does it take for him to get on the field this weekend after everybody threw good last weekend? Well, uh, you know, we'll probably it's a three game series instead of four, uh, so we'll probably use him uh, in that relief role uh, this weekend. Uh, you know, in tight situations, whatever, whether that's closed ball games or in the fifth or sixth inning, um, we feel like it's a big time. Uh, we'll probably go to him. Okay, and uh, we're going to keep our interview just here to a couple minutes. So uh, appreciate your time. Now, now we're going to go on to our forward association. You ready today? Speak English today. Speak English. I'm going to give you words that might possibly be screwed up by a Texan or a Minnesotan. One or the other. The first word is E-H. Eh? Okay. The, the, the second one, tomorrow. Okay. The third one, sheriff. Okay. And the fourth one, Amarillo. Okay. The Amarillo sheriff said the sun will come out tomorrow. Eh? Wow. A-plus today. You've done well, Skip. See you out here tomorrow at 3, Rams fans.